Are you ready for this interview? No, no. Are you nervous? No. Are you so, sweating? I'm so nervous. Your armpits are I got are a really, jacket on. Your armpits are really wet right now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Welcome back to Nashville Unsigned. We are hanging out with the man with the plan, Mr. Kenny Foster. That's what they say. That's what they. That's how many people? Like two people or everyone? I, this is the first. Actually, uh, this is the first. Yeah. But the, they. Well, I my you opinion. Just a collective my opinion counts welcome. for like seventeen. It does. At least. Yeah. Well, I mean, welcome. I think so, so then seventeen people. So. <laughs> Let's jump right in. Like, what brought you to Nashville? Uh, or how long have you been in Nashville? Are you from Nashville? I'm not from Nashville. You're not I grew from up Nashville. in a little town in Missouri called Joplin and nice. uh, moved here uh, almost 15 years ago okay so you're practically a local yeah I've seen it yeah. I've seen the uh, I've seen the great rise mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's, it's and you're crazy. on the top of that wave right now <laughs> yeah let's let's hope it let's you're hope it can plateau it. a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we're uh, you're surfing it <laughs> trying you know that's that's what it is and nice. this, this town is growing we're it's a part of yeah the, it's a part of it. I thought that was my GPS. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, turn uh, my, left. My GPS. You have a ride. Actually is in boy band mode. So when my GPS. Does it sing to you? It's like, you the right turn one. Turn left. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, it's great. Who yeah. sings it? Um, well, it's just boy just band some mode. Just some dudes. Yeah, it's just generic. I'm oh, pretty dude. sure it's Backstreet Boys, but they didn't put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that they were I mean, not going to totally I'm pretty certain of it. And all you NSYNC fans... There's a bird hanging out behind this album. <laughs> but there's Kenny's album. <laughs> Ta-da! It's real. It just, uh, that's badass, dude. Thank you. So this is out, right? This is out, yeah. Cool. And uh, you've got how many songs on this? This is 12 tunes. This is... Yeah. Um, a full album. I had uh, I had 450 to choose from on that one. Nice. It's been a pretty prolific three years. Of but... your songs. Yeah. You narrowed it down to 12 from 450. Yeah. Found it. Uh, explosion. Explosion. Mm -hmm. Twins. Twins. So, <laughs> so tell us, you, you know, you got here from, by way of Missouri. Yeah. And you've been here for 15 years. Yeah. And so you came for music, right? Yes, ma'am. You did. And songwriting is kind of where you jumped into at first. <sighs> no. God. Where were, yeah. What? Ah. This is such See, I'm a just, sordid it's, like, tale. it's a guessing game right you now. You have no idea what you're what you're getting into. <laughs> I just opened it. Pandora's box. Get ready, everyone. I went to Coming. I went to Belmont University. Belmont's a silly, silly place. <laughs> uh, I was a transfer student into Belmont, uh, which means that um, all the cliques had been formed already. Oh, and you were and so outside of the circle of trust. I was. So I, it was almost as if I was made to be an independent from mm -hmm. the start. Um, I was sort of used to not having people to jump onto your bandwagon yeah um and so what that meant is you just had to be so good that no one could deny you anymore mm -hmm. so even if they didn't support you if anybody asked to kind of be like yeah that dude's pretty good yeah yeah and, uh, it just <laughs> or like me. you know i don't like him but he's really good you so. know what it can even be that it's fine <laughs> as long as the second thing is I there know, right but that right. means that's how good you have to be yeah exactly because if somebody decides they don't like you mm -hmm. you have to write that good of a song or play that well or sing that well like those are these are all the things you're going to be judged on i had yeah. no idea there were so many things you could judge people on until mm -hmm. i moved here and and uh i was not a quick learn i was not a fast learn mm -hmm. but um i'm very grateful for having taken the plunge and gone all out what's on the i know you've got this out what's mm -hmm. on the horizon with your music uh touring ireland in the uk well that's um, big let's just ride this out for a second okay touring where again ireland in the uk <laughs> Dude, that's badass yeah no, and I'm independent still... man that's awesome yeah well it's um there's quite a big americana roots boom going on yeah over there they appreciate music in a way that feels really untainted they uh they care about folk music a lot it's mm -hmm. part of their heritage i don't know i connect with that yeah. i was in ireland two years ago and uh, my wife and I had just a wonderful, wonderful time Aww. there. They're just beautiful people. Yeah. I, I call it like the Midwest of Europe. Yeah, yeah. You know, where you just go and people just love you for reasons they can't even yeah. understand <laughs> because they're just made to love people. And so I'm, I'm very, very excited so to be So cool, over there. man. That's really cool information. So tell <laughs> us maybe something that you haven't let out of the box for a lot of people. We would like to think. You don't have to tell us 
Sure. If you've given this information to anyone else, we just want to think that you no just, one else. It's has all you. It. I uh, played soccer longer than I did music. Really? Yeah, started at a very young age and played actually in England when I was a teenager. That's and crazy. I, and then know. the way that they treat soccer is the way we treat football. So it's like a. Uh, yeah, you were practically a celebrity. Well, it was uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I became a large fan of the passion that surrounded the game. Yeah, uh, as much as I loved the game itself, uh, so I did that and I played through college. I actually played at Belmont. Very uh, cool. Worked onto that team there, and once I realized I wasn't going pro, uh, <laughs> decided to go pro in something else. Yeah. Was... No autographs, guys. No autographs. Yeah, please, please. please. <laughs> David Beckham, field. friend of mine. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who showed him how to bend it? It's a real question. Guess where he got his hair style from? Something like Mr. that. Mr. Kenny Foster. Yeah, You're welcome. Yeah. He that's keeps piece... switching it up because he can't. Yeah, that's a piece of information that mm-hmm. nobody knows, but he was oh so inspired <laughs> that we just made up. by Kenny. <laughs> awesome. Well, our last one is our wild segment, sure. and that means what have you learned, dude? So you've been in the mm. game for a while, mm, and um, you've weaved in and out of probably every single level of sure. the game. Sure. Um, remained an independent and yeah. is doing big things in other countries and your own album and still independent. So tell us, like, uh, you know, if you fell, how'd you get back up? How'd you brush yourself off? Sure. And how'd you keep going? Um, it's interesting how you put it, the game. Um, <laughs> there is a game that's overlaid over something that I think is real. And what I think is real is an artist, a songwriter, a person with something to say and a voice, um, and their ability to connect with another human being that they have not and may never meet. And that's real. Yeah. And that can only be built on a universal truth that you share. So what you as a songwriter, your actual job, as an artist, your actual job is to point at that truth so that someone else can either see themselves or get to know you better. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what game has been overlaid the top of that, that exchange is still real. And no one can actually take that from you. Mm -mm. So I think the important aspect to realize when you jump into the game is not to get swept up in the game because then you're going to be more interested Mm -hmm. in trying to work angles than getting better. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to just be the best person that you can And you'll be surprised um, how easily the game starts shifting in your favor. Yeah. Um, You want to take the world by storm. And I want you to take the world by storm. Mm. But make sure that you have all the tools that you need that when the storm comes and your time comes, you know how to sustain it. Mm -hmm. And that takes a long, long time to get it. Do the work. Write great songs. Be kind to others especially people that care about what you're writing and what you're singing um, because those people are going to be the ones that get you through the days before there are millions there's only two yeah yeah so uh, if you don't care about those two the way that you would care about the millions then maybe get out yeah so. yeah dude drop the mic on that one <laughs> what a great that response is. and uh we're gonna have to uh cheers to that cheers. one as well <laughs> it's jello jello don't worry hold on <laughs> She's an expert. Mm. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of that. <laughs> oh my god, I Guess think, what's it's, getting I think it's in my nose hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, watermelon. There it is. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, Mr. Kenny Foster, thank you, man. Hey, thank you. Explosion. For me. Appreciate it. Oh, I forgot. For, uh, let's try god. it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. And it's exploded mm-hmm. and it's coming back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now well, we can do a jellyfish. <laughs> uh oh, show me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, pumping. Mm-hmm. Pump, pump the gym. Jello, <laughs> <laughs> it's already working. Guys, Kenny Foster, we're going to have him synced up on everything, socials, everything, and we are going to pimp him out for his feature week. Kenny, thank you so much for coming, man. For and I'm me. stoked about this. Kenny, where can they find this? All of the places you buy music. And trust me, you guys want to pick this up, especially the album, because you've got some great art in here. So. Awesome. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you so much for coming. And we're out. Caught up Bye, in guys. A moment, in a life, in a